Can you talk? All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Star Wars Squadrons. We are back for a continuation of the campaign, and we are back in the New Republic. So, back to the good side of things. Let's go ahead and talk to Keo here to get started. Ardo asked if I saw a way through that minefield Titan set up, but no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. So the commander took Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms, sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. When those missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the Temperance was done for. Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are unclear, like walking into fog. Better get to the briefing room. Let's do it, Kia. Is there anybody else out here that we can talk to? Doesn't appear so. So, let's go ahead and jump into the briefing room here. See what. Uh, Let me speak plainly, Vanguard Squadron. We're in trouble. We have the Overseer behind us, and Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way we'll fend them off. We need to send a distress call to our allies in the New Republic and hope they can reach us in time. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. And luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. Chief Mechanic Zarelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the comsats. The more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. But the Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zerelda and the Comsat safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait and hope. Hey. Let's talk to Ardo and Hera first. This will work. Vanguard Squadron has handled dangerous assignments before and performed brilliantly. A deadly nebula on one side and a crumbling moon on the other. That gives us a slim margin of error. It's this or we come up with something more drastic. You know me, Ardo. There's always another way. Trust me, General, I'm aware. I'm just letting you know that my crew is feeling the strain. Noted. But I trust my people, you included, to make this happen. Sorry, not now. <laughs> All right, you could have just told us that before, instead of letting us there then. So, let's talk to Linden here. When I left the Empire, I tried to leave behind their views on morality and certainty. The core of Imperial doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. Doubt is seen as disloyalty. Now I understand that you have to look at your decisions with a clear heart and ask what more you could do, should do. For those who lead, doubt is necessary. The Starhawk Project represents hope for an entire galaxy. It's bigger than any of us. I know you'd rather be defending the Starhawk, but I promise that reactivating the broadcast hub is the best thing you can do to ensure the project's survival. Good luck. I know you won't let me down. All right. So let's go jump into the hangar, see if there's anybody we can talk to out there before we get launched off. So it looks like we've got Zerelda, Brisk, and Gunny. So start with Gunny and just go down the line. Listen, I know things seem tough but we've stared down death more times than I can count. Stranded in a nebula? That's nothing. We survived the Xavian Abyss. Hunted down by an Imperial fleet? So what? If they could stop us, they would have done it by now. This is war. Everything we face is gonna be tough. That's why the New Republic entrusted this mission to us. 
to Vanguard Squadron. No matter how hard it gets, how hopeless it seems, or how tired we feel, Vanguard, don't give in. Now let's go get them. Getting riled up from Fearless Leader there. All right, let's talk to Chris, see who he's hustling now. You know, after Endor, I wasn't sure about staying with the New Republic. I'd fought the good fight, even shaken that death mark. I didn't see the point in going legit, so to speak. Figured I'd cash out, then get back to doing what I do best. It was Grace who changed my mind. The day I was set to leave, she pulled me aside and told me something I'll never forget. She said, I'll miss you, Frisk. And back home on Dosh, my clan and I never got along. You're too loud, Ferrisk. Why don't you like hunting, Ferrisk? <sighs> as soon as I could fly, I left. Made my own way. On my own. Until I met Vanguard. The only thing better than pulling one over on the Empire was flying with my Vanguard oh. buddies. Frisk is it never around. occurred to me they felt the same way. Reminder, well, the point I'm trying to make is... Whether it's a life or death mission or just helping a Trandoshan feel at home, we make it work. So yeah, things look bleak, but when Vanguard flies together, there's nothing we can't do, especially with you around. No, oh, thanks, Brisk. And if we fail, we fail together. And no one will ever know because we'll be dead. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a win in my book. There you go. <laughs> Ready to go when you are. Alright, so let's talk to Zerilda now. You're in a U Wing, which is great news for me. I'll need all the support I can get out there. All these here's on the temperance. I've never deployed on a mission. I just fixed up what came back. I might be nervous. Scared, even. But I've seen what you and Vanguard can accomplish together. I'm ready. Oh, you got I won't this, let you down out don't there. you worry. I don't doubt it. Alright, let's prepare to launch. You wings keep the squadron flying. This is a support fighter specializing in disabling enemy fighters and empowering the squadron. gonna leave everything as it is and we'll go ahead and jump on in Yeah, 
a mess in here. Stand by while I get this hub up and running. Oh, who's hitting me? Hey, looks like the broadcast hub works. It works, but the system is a wreck. I'm gonna need some time to get all the comm sets back online. Going into formation. Be quick. We have ties headed our way. I think the Empire's figured out what we're up to. Alright. Okay. Makes sense. You're safe. I could have handled it. Enemies tailing you. Hey! The Empire's all over me! Aim at a second. He's got a lock on me.
shielded you. I got him. Don't let the Empire near the Comsat. Ago, the rebellion welcomed me. Today, I feel honored to join the fight. Sir, you can't. Have faith, Kyo. Besides, if there's one person who can keep Jerissa's attention, it's me. I need you to lead our defenders. The future of Project Starhawk and maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. Thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the Force be with you. All right. Little chills there. All right, and that's the end of that mission, so... 
we will pick up in the next episode. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.